In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will see rigid bodies moving in a general plane motion and methods to solve bodies under general plane motion, which is relative velocity method and instantaneous center method. Any plane motion which does not fall under the category of rotation about fixed axis or translation motion can be put under the category of a general plane motion. A general plane motion is a combination of translation motion and rotation motion. Human movement usually consists of general motion rather than pure linear or angular motion. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. General plane motion is a sum of translation and rotation motion. To find the angular velocity of a body performing general plane motion, we use relative velocity method, which is one of the method for analyzing a general plane motion. Consider a rod AB pin connected to slider A and B, which moves in a fixed slot. Let slider B have a known velocity VB to the right. Steps to find angular velocity omega AB of the general plane body AB. Step 1. Locate a point whose magnitude and direction is known. Here, magnitude and direction of point B is known. Step 2. Locate a point whose direction is known, that is point A. Step 3. Now, divide the motion of the body as a sum of translation and rotation motion. Translate the body with translating velocity, that is VB, and rotate it about a fixed point B. Step 4. Write the relation for the relative linear velocity of a translating point. For point A, we will write the relation as shown. Step 5. Write the relation for the absolute velocity of the translation point. Simultaneously, draw the vector diagram of the same. From the relation, VAB can be found out. And when we substitute the value of VAB in relation for relative linear velocity, we get an angular velocity omega. Let's take an example and solve it by relative velocity method. The figure shows three bars, AB, BC and CD. Internally, pin connected at B and C and externally, hinge supported at A and D. In the position shown, bar AB has a constant angular velocity of 6 radians per second anti-clockwise. Find the angular velocities of bars BC and CD for the instant shown. Here, rod AB performs rotation motion about A. Rod CD performs rotation motion about D and rod BC performs general plane motion. Consider rod AB. Rod AB rotates about a point A. So, direction of velocity at point B would be perpendicular to the radial distance AB. Therefore, using relation between linear velocity and angular velocity, on substituting the values, we get velocity of VB as 1.5 meters per second. Consider rod CD. Rod CD rotates about a point D. So, the direction of velocity at point C would be perpendicular to the radial distance CD. Let beta be the angle made by VC with the vertical. From the geometry, the value of beta is 46.97 degree. Therefore, using relation between linear velocity and angular velocity, on substituting the values, we get equation 1. Consider general motion of rod BC. For general plane motion, we will use relative velocity method. Step 1. Locate the point whose magnitude and direction is known. Here, velocity of point B is known. Step 2. Locate a point whose direction is known, that is point C. Step 3. 
now divide the motion of the body as sum of translation and rotation motion. Translate the body with the translating velocity that is VB and rotate it about a fixed point B. Step 4. Write the relation for the absolute velocity of the translation point. Simultaneously draw the vector diagram of the same. On solving the triangle we get velocity at point C as 2.2 meters per second and relative velocity of C with respect to B as 1.61 meters per second. Step 5. Write the relation for the relative linear velocity of translating point. On substituting the value we get an angular velocity of rod CB. Now substituting the value of VC in equation 1 we get angular velocity of rod CD. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Instantaneous center is defined as the point about which the general plane body rotates at the given instant. The instantaneous center of rotation lies at the intersection of the perpendicular to the velocity. Let us see steps to determine the instantaneous center. Consider the mechanism of a rod attached to a slider. We have the given velocity of VA and we have to find an angular velocity of rod AB at the given instant. Step 1. Locate a point whose magnitude and direction of velocity is known and another point whose direction of velocity is known. Step 2. Draw the perpendicular to the direction of velocities and extend them to intersect at a point. Call the point as I. Step 3. Point I is the center of rotation of the general plane body at the given instant. On using the relation V equals R omega, the angular velocity of rod AB can be found out. Once the angular velocity is known, we can find the position of another velocity. Let us solve a problem on instantaneous center method. The figure shows collar B which moves up with a constant velocity of 3 meters per second. The collar is pinned to rod AB and A slide freely against a 45 degree sloping ground. For this instant, determine the angular velocity of the rod and velocity of end A of the rod. The system consists of two bodies in motion. Rod AB performs a general plane motion and collar B performs a rectilinear translation motion. Considering a general plane motion of rod AB using instantaneous center method. Step 1. We know velocity at point B that is 3 meter per second. Also, the direction of velocity of point B and direction of velocity at point A. Step 2. Draw the perpendicular to the direction of velocity at point A and B. Let the point of intersection be I. Step 3. From the geometry, the radial length can be found out using the sign rule to solve triangle ABI. On evaluating, we get the radial distance. Step 4. Use the relation between the linear velocity and an angular velocity at point B. On substituting the values, we get angular velocity of rod AB as 1.06 radians per second. Now, use the relation between linear velocity and an angular velocity at point A. On substituting the values, we get the velocity at point A as 2.3 meters per second. Let's take a quick overview of this Easy Ed video lecture. In this video, we have seen that any plane motion which does not fall under the category of rotation about fixed axis or translation motion can be put under the category of general plane motion. A general plane motion is a combination of translation motion and rotation motion. After which, we have seen the relative velocity method which is used to determine the angular velocity of a body performing general plane motion and steps to determine the angular velocity of the rod by taking an example. 
instantaneous center is defined as the point about which the general plane body rotates at the given instant. The instantaneous center of rotation lies at the intersection of the perpendicular to the velocity. Finally, we have seen steps to determine angular velocity and position of velocity with instantaneous center method. So this is the overview of our video lecture.